objectives that have been posed? What role does CAD expect to play in future challenges that humanity will face? Okay. Um, Dr. Kumbo mentioned a little earlier that the objectives of CAD are of three um, areas. First is unification of the five webs. Second, peace to humanity. And third, try to be reunited with God. So, for the unification with the, of the five words, the first objective, we have an interface activity that Kaudai uh, participated regularly. And this interface activity, we do it at our journey to bliss at the Kaudai Center in Anaheim, during which time different uh, people from different traditions sit together and learn from different topics of life and of spiritual uh, and deviant. Topics such as a service, forgiveness, uh, communication, connection, commitment, peace, harmony in, inside, harmony outside, etc. And we follow that journey to please with meditation together and that meditation would touch into the third goal mentioned earlier which is to try to be to feel God and be reunited with God so in the unification of the five ways Kaudai also participate with the interface community in some uh, common work, which is to try to build compassionate city. And by building compassionate city, we are touching uh, the, uh, the second objective, which is peace to humanity. Uh, and we have successfully participated with the local community in Bologna, California to bring forward compassionate city in uh, Bologna. So let me even uh, elaborate a little bit more for the second goal, which is on peace to humanity. Peace to humanity is based on the service of people. And we have mentioned some time back that we can see human as three parts, the physical body, the mind or emotional part, and the spiritual part. So for physical service, we provide food, shelter, logic. And for emotional part, we try to be compassionate and loving kindness by smiling to people as much as we can, communicate with them encouragement, word of comfort when they're suffering. And for spiritual level, we have spiritual services where we can remind the person of their sublime origin and also go over the scriptures to learn from them. To face the future challenges, the greatest challenge is the conflict between humans because of their ego and also because of the name of God. People have different faith traditions and all faith traditions have physical differences, different rituals. People, by uh, being buried in those uh, uh, outer differences, like you can see, a Buddhist would shave their hair, no hair. And the sick people would let their hair grow forever. And then they wear that hair underneath of a turban. 
so they look very different. And the color of the clothing also different. You know, like the, the Buddhists wear yellow, ochre, and the Kata wear white. But God probably wants us to be different like that so that we can sit back and think what is our common our commonality between us and us other and so Gauda is trying to convey the message that we are all one because we all have the same spark of the spirit of God in ourselves so we are all sisters and brothers of the same spiritual family and if we go beyond those uh, outside differences and we come into meditation we can uh, talk to each other at that spiritual level because it's the same and in fact we have seen as we go along that religion teach the same principle of love and justice and service to people and try to improve yourself and have quiet moments does that answer to that question? Yes, it definitely does. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, what message would you like to share? We are accepted. And finally, what message would you like to share to the people who are listening right now? It is like a summary. And the summary is reflected by the goal of Kaudai in the unification of religions in harmony and creating peace on earth and realizing union with the divine. And the message of Kada is condensed in the three pillars. One is oneness of all in the universe and the divine principle. We have the same divine principle which is God although it is called different name, it's a different name. The second is, the second pillar is practice of love and justice. And the third one is practice of the triple fold path with self-cultivation, service, and return to the inner self or meditation. God, I invite all, faith and non-faith alike, to obtain peace and enlightenment. And we would like to introduce to you our book just published. The new book's name is For the Rhythm of Our Journey, The Way of Life in Gauda, available on Amazon. The book describes our spiritual journey and offers practical tools to all seekers, face and non-face alike, to discover our common Sublime nature for a fulfilled life. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here and uh, answering our questions. Thank you, Brooke. <laughs> and thank you for all the people who are listening to this uh, um, broadcasting. Thank you, Javier. Thank you, Caminos. <laughs> <laughs>